In the 1800s, as America's cattle industry boomed, screw worms became a plague. Herds collapsed, ranchers went bankrupt, and pesticides couldn't touch them. It was a slaughter, and we were losing. Then came the sterile insect technique, SIT for short. It's a masterstroke of sabotage. Female screw worms mate just once, so scientists cooked up a plan. Flood the wild with sterile males. These lab-bred suitors are zapped with radiation, enough to fry their fertility, but not their charm. When wild females fall for them, they leave behind no larvae, no legacy, just failure. It's a Trojan horse invasion, a mating trap that strangles the enemy's numbers with every failed romance. The plan worked. In the 1950s, a test on Curaçao wiped screw worms out in weeks. The U.S. followed, declaring victory by 1966. Mexico fell in line by 1991, and Central America was secured by the 2000s. To hold the line, we built a wall of flesh in Panama. 20 million sterile flies dropped weekly to choke the enemy's advance. That's more than the population of New York, except every one of them is here to seduce and sabotage. Planes deploy them in a relentless air campaign, while teams on the ground hunt for infestations, 